Do you have charisma? Now just think for a moment about what that means. I mean, in our society, we often would say somebody is charismatic if they're an excellent communicator. They're confident, optimistic, emotionally inspiring, and they have very interesting personalities. And yet by this definition, I would imagine that there are many people who would not consider themselves very charismatic, if at all. And yet the Bible tells us everyone has charisma. You see, the Apostle Paul writes in his first letter to the Corinthians about a different definition of charisma. As he says, there's a variety of gifts, a variety of charisma. And it is the same God who activates them in everyone. <laughs> you see, charisma is a gift of the Holy Spirit. And these are given to everyone now, as Paul says, there are a variety, teaching, healing, compassion, and faith. We're all different from each other, but everyone is charismatic. Everyone is gifted. So the question isn't, do you have charisma, but what are your gifts? Now, of course, as we come to recognize and celebrate our own spiritual charisma, we are also invited to recognize and celebrate the spiritual charisma in others, all others, no matter how similar or different they are from us. For you see, this is about discovering how the Spirit is working within us, not for prideful boasting or, or for comparison, but for recognizing how we can work together using our gifts for the common good. For you see, unlike society's definition, our spiritual charisma isn't about personal advancement or popularity, but it's about the good of the community, about making the world a better place. So this week, as we come together, let's recognize our giftedness, our charisma. Let's celebrate and discover what the Spirit has done for us. And let's use our gifts together for the good of community, for the good of the world. Giving glory to God that the Spirit is actively working in our lives. I look forward to seeing you in worship.